Okay, what we're doing here is we're going to dispel a myth about these bananas and potatoes being radioactive. What we're going to do, we've got the, got the pulse logger on zero, and we've got the log cleared, and we're going to start it. And you'll see it start to change numbers there. You see you're getting a couple of, couple of hits off of it, but very few. Now let's go over and look at the meter. We're using our Lenny Geiger counter that's set on X1, which means that that point one there is one tenth of a milliram, and you can see that it's pretty steady on about four or five. Uh, that is background radiation. That is cosmic radiation uh, coming from the soil. Uh, probably a little bit of everything, mostly gamma though. And uh, see the needle flick a little bit and that's a couple of hits probably from outer space today we're having a little bit of background radiation higher than normal uh, I think it's probably a solar flare or something like that but if you look at this this meter it's it's going for a hundred seconds every second it's going to take a it's going to count and up here where it says later results you're seeing each count per second down here at average it's basically taking those and doing the math and it's averaged them out into accounts per minute uh, or milliamps per hour. Now this is sitting on top of a solid surface countertop. Um, solid surface doesn't have any radioactivity. And we can put it on the wood floor, we can hold it up in the air and it's still going to be 60 counts per minute. That's just just what it is. Look down here on the, on the log, you're seeing we're at, at number uh, 91, 92 seconds. We can keep and print all this out if we want to. We're done, and we're at 60 counts per minute, one-tenth of a milliram, which uh, no matter what you do, even if there's no radiation, you're going to have that because of background.